Hello, I'm Stuart Bell, President of the University of Alabama. Today we pay tribute to the bravery, courage, and determination of Vivian Malone and James Hood, two African-American students who moved past the infamous stand in the schoolhouse door to become students here at the University of Alabama 57 years ago. June 11, 1963, at the schoolhouse door is a day we will never forget. As a university, it is important that we acknowledge our history, including recognition of events of which we're not proud. That day also served as a turning point for the first steps towards a new University of Alabama, one whose core values have grown to embody diversity, respect, equity, a culture of inclusivity. Ms. Malone went on to become the university's first black graduate, and Mr. Hood later returned to the capstone to earn his PhD. Today, we celebrate their valor and transformational impact they've had on this university. Much progress has been made, but our nation, our state, and our beloved institution continue to struggle with many of the same issues from nearly six decades ago. Earlier this week, the University of Alabama Board of Trustees, Chancellor St. John, and I took an important step with the removal and relocation of Confederate plaques from the Quad and Gorgas Library. Today, our Division of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion will host a conversation entitled Reflections on the Stand. These conversations and meaningful actions will continue. Teaching and learning about the impact of racism that has suppressed and marginalized our black students, colleagues, friends, and communities is an important part of our mission. As president, I pledge that we will continue to identify and promote ways to ensure our campus is safe, respectful, and welcoming to every member of our campus community, and to support those who are particular targets of hate and racism. This is a defining moment for our country and our university. I'm thankful for our community, colleagues from the Black Faculty Staff Association, the Student Government Association, our faculty, staff, alumni, supporters, and many others who are coming together to raise awareness and make a difference. I know we will emerge stronger, wiser, and more unified than ever before. At the University of Alabama, we are still tied together.